Welcome to the Times Herald Record Craft Corner. I'm Amy Berkowitz, and I'm here to show you today how to make your mom happy with flowers that you made yourself. You can play Mother Nature by making the flowers out of air dry clay, and the clay can be bought in any craft store. You take floral wire like this, and the way that you make different heights of the flower is to bend it in certain ways. So if you want to make a short flower, you would bend it in half completely, like this. And that would be your stem. If you want a taller flower, you could bend it a little bit farther down. Okay? And you would take some clay, I would say about a gumball size. Okay. And if you need to make it a little more pliable, you would just take a little bit of water on your finger and mash it up a bit. And the first thing you're going to do is make the bud. I'm going to take the narrowest point and just wrap it around completely. This was a little too much, so I'm going to take it out and push it up until it makes like a cone. You see that? Each time you wrap it, you need to pick another starting point so that it doesn't look like all one lump. And you're going to wrap it around again. And see, you've got your little flower started. So now, I've got one, the magic of video, I've got one done. And I let it dry overnight, which is what you need so that it's hard to the touch. And I like red, and so does my mom. So I'm going to choose red. And I suggest two colors, because roses come in all different hues, and you want to make it look as lifelike as possible. And here we're going to be painting it. What I like to do is put a little gold or uh, clear glitter on it so that it, it looks a little bit more magical looking. So it gives it that little, little flare. And then also to make it look a little bit more lifelike, you take some floral tape and you cut just about eh, four inches, three inches. And you see where the base of the flower is, you're going to want to wrap it. And then in the end, what do you have here? You have some beautiful roses that you paid a fraction of the cost of a dozen roses for. And now I'm going to show you this beautiful vase. Guess what this vase is? It's not glass. It's a soda bottle. It's about four inches from top to bottom here. And we would cut that around so that it would be circular and we would make slits. Now you're going to want to cut about three inches from the bottom and you're going to make 34 slits. So start out with just four slits on either side and then cut those in half like this. Now this is just not another wonderful spider creation but the beginnings of a vase. And you're going to press it down so that you've got a lip to start off with, an edge. And you're going to be weaving these. So what you're going to do is take the first one. It goes over one and under two. And you're going to bend it towards you. You see how that goes? Over one and under two. And then you're going to create another bend, and it's going to go under one and over two. And then you're going to alternate, and it's going to be over one and under two. And you will get this beautiful fluted side here that will look like one of those scrolled glass containers. And in the end, you end up with a beautiful vase that's not in the landfill, that you can also toss away at any time if you make a mistake, but recycle it. And 
and you've got something to give your mom. Put a few rocks in there, like I did, these polished stones. Or if you want, go out to your garden and get the stones from there. Uh, you could also put shells and rose petals or even some candy. I know she'd like that. Now you can surprise your mom with uh, this vase filled with flowers that you made. Happy Mother's Day to my mom and yours and thank you for watching the Times Herald Record Craft Corner.